Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Mountain Comfort Furnishings and Design. Two 19-year-olds from Denver are stable and recovering from a single-car rollover on I-70 at Vail Pass yesterday. Their dog, a 20-pound terrier mix named Bandit, is still missing in the woods near mile marker 184 west of Vail Pass. Summit Lost Pet Rescue is out there this morning with the family, scouring ditches and searching for signs of Bandit. If you are driving I-70 between Vail and Vail Pass, keep an eye open for Bandit. He is black and tan, around 20 pounds, and probably skittish after yesterday's rollover. Contact Summit Lost Pet Rescue on Facebook with sightings. Snow is incoming. National Weather Service calls for a few inches here in Summit tonight through early Saturday. More to the east in the Winter Park area. Here is Lizzie DeGia the trauma program specialist at St. Anthony's in Frisco. I am the injury prevention coordinator, so I handle trying to reduce the amount of traumatic injuries that we see in our emergency room and in our hospital and in our county in general. With snow, icy roads are a given. So are icy slopes and sidewalks. Her advice, if you take a fall this holiday? Go easy on yourself, rest, stay hydrated, make sure that you're just taking care of yourself in general, and please, please, please follow up with like an occupational therapist, your primary care provider, and don't return to play or work or school before you're cleared to do so. The rest of the year, DeGia is working with youth on bike safety and concussion prevention. In local entertainment news, showing all this holiday weekend at the Eclipse Theater in downtown Breck, it's the newest Hunger Games movie, set 60 years before the blockbuster original, back when President Snow was a cutthroat nobody. It screens at 4 and 7.30 daily. And in local sports... Today on the warm-up for my furnish in Frisco and Kremlin. We're ridiculous. We dress up for every holiday, so I just had to had to go all out for this. That was Ryan, one of seven runners dressed like a turkey this morning for the 10th annual Frisco Turkey Day 5K. Joining him were friends from as far as Guatemala. And they were all running for something. Green bean casserole. Running for beer. Running for wine. <laughs> Mashed yeah. potatoes. Classic turkey. Sweet potatoes. A family from Dillon was out there with kids in strollers and parents pushing for this. Stuffing turkey and pie. Chocolate cake. Pie for sure. Turkeys. Apple pie and ice cream. Pumpkin pie. The Turkey Day 5K was completely sold out. More than 1,300 people. This has been the warm-up with Frisco Turkey Trotters. Phil Lindemann wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving from Crystal 93.